Man, Steve's a, uh, such a beast of a character. You, I mean, if you really tighten up and play him so well, you know the way these guys are. He's a real bitch. But he's still cool to watch, somehow. I don't know how. All he does is the same fucking moves over and over again, but for some reason he just looks cool doing it. There's just something about the way Kazumi spams the same moves that makes that shit look boring. But Steve looks cool. This is it. Kokoma dressed up like this hoe. So let's see if he can win with her. I think that's how that works. Yeah, maybe. Man, Kazumi's gotta go. She is just a crazy. I bet you if she's in the next Tekken, they're gonna overhaul her. There's no way that they're satisfied with her design. She is fucking butt ugly in terms of play. I doubt they're gonna keep her. They're gonna if they keep her, they're gonna overhaul it. In my opinion, I hope they do keep her because it would be fucking stupid to create such a key character in the story and then get rid of her. But even if they do, I don't do or don't. I think they got to re overhaul her design. That shit is butt ugly. <clears throat> the tiger's fine. I don't care about that. But I mean, it would be nice if it was only a part of the character's story rather than an actual part of the gameplay. I wouldn't mind if they get rid of the Tigers in gameplay. Or maybe just the taunt. It just looks fucking stupid if you ask me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a hater, but I don't think that it looks cool when a big ass fucking tiger comes out. Unless you're gonna give everyone some kind of cool bird projectile. Kaka! You know what I mean? That Now we're talking. Like, give everyone some kind of animal, a fish. Stingray, you know? Stingrays are fucking bitches, dude. They got Steve Irwin. Who's gonna have a Stingray? Kakoma's curtains are inadvertently hurting you. <laughs> I'll give it up. Ouch. Good night, Harada. Man, counter hit back one, dude. Fuck that. There it is again. Back one. Don't get counter hit. This guy's going to lose while he's wearing a dress. Now the he's starting to get hit by counter hits as well. Yeah, he's got to be careful. I mean, obviously you Oh, another one. You know I never like you get comfortable attack. Flash push got worked out. I like the down three. I think this is a pretty tall order for Kokoma. And I think both of them know it. Thing is down four two complements the back one so well. Not just that his movement and you know knee hasn't really used Steve's sways or his movement. And that's a thing that's also again super scary in any matchup. I've never played Steve before, but I can see it being challenging. Not just execution-wise, because that is definitely the case. He has a lot of precision when it comes to his execution. Uh, but just the overall character archetype is not for everyone. You first of all have to have a really good understanding of the core system mechanics. And after that point, you have to specifically be the type of player that is good at catching on to a player's rhythm and timing. Because you're not going to get anywhere without counter hits. Literally cannot win the match without counter hits. I mean, literally. Not the way people go, I'm literally dead right now. I'm not using the word like a little bitch like that. I mean fucking literally you can't win without counter hits so you have to be exceptionally good at you know rhythm and timing you feel me bruce it takes a very specific player to really excel with this character so it's like playing a rhythm game it's like playing a rhythm game except first of all you're not a little bitch and secondly rhythm games are not controlled by a human so they don't adapt and change uh you know in a intelligent way they're the same every time so you can see why the first of all was the way it was me just kicked the shit out of this guy, beat his ass while he's wearing makeup and a dress. Damn, and look at him smiling. See you later, ho. <laughs> Snapped his fingers on this bitch. Hey, nice game, Kokomer.